What is going on guys? Grave here. Of course, today is Tuesday, so we've got our weekly update for Red Dead Online. The Newswire will be linked down in the description below if you would like to read over it for yourself. This week, of course, we got the new survival mode, Call to Arms, which I think a lot of people are going to be happy about. We also got some new crime missions and the new Quick Draw Club number two pass is out today as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. It says, in Call to Arms, you and your allies have been recruited to protect various locations from up to 10 waves of incoming enemies. Areas like Blackwater, Fort Mercer, Valentine, Strawberry, and McFarland's Ranch. This is where you'll be protecting these areas from invasions. It says, the first check your camp lockbox from a new telegram from Jay, which will be called to arms, and then become that will become available to launch at any time by selecting that telegram in your satchel. Also, anyone that decides to go ahead and participate in the new call to arms survival mode this week will receive three times RDO cash, XP, and gold. Most players right now are reporting about 800 to 1,000 cash payout, two to four gold, and of course a lot of XP with this three times event going on. So for this week, you'll be able to get three times cash, XP, and gold, which is really, really nice if you're looking to level up some more, get some more gold, get some more cash, whatever the case may be. You also receive an offer of 30% off any novice or promising roll item within the next 72 hours if you do participate in the call to arms this week as well. Some other things they have, uh, they have added in this week is the Cornwall contracts. This will put you in uh, two different areas in Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar in the Heartlands looking for Capitale notes. And also, you can sneak around San Denis docks to find and steal Capitale from one of the richest men in five states. He says expect to get your hands very dirty along the way with these two new contract Cornwall contract missions. Of course, this week, Quick Draw Club number two has been added into the game. It will cost 25 gold bars. It will be 25 total ranks, and you will be able to make your 25 gold bars back. It says, keep in mind, if you purchase Quick Draw Club number one, two, three, and four, you will get that Halloween pass number two for free when it comes out at the end of October. Of course, today is the 10th of August. That is when the Quick Draw Club number two is available, and that will be available until September the 6th. It says, anyone that purchased Quick Draw Club number one, if you, have, if you play or log in the game within the next two weeks, you will receive 300 cash and 2,000 character XP within the first 72 hours or, you know, within the next 72 hours after logging in. Of course, there are a few new things added to Madame Nazar this week. You have John Marston's at outfit, so make sure you go check that out at Madame Nazar's. They're always adding a few things in, it seems, every couple weeks since the Blood Money update at Madame Nazar. Also, anyone who logs in this week will get a free ability card and 10 gun oil, like I said, just for logging in. Also, it says, remember to keep your eyes peeled for lock boxes and stashes. You might find more capitale than usual while committing crimes. And speaking of crimes and other foul deeds, visiting all four Blood Money mission givers, that Sean McGuire, jo uh, Joe, James, and Anthony, this week will lend you an extra 100 cash to be delivered within 72 hours. So it sounds like they're bumping up the capitale uh, notes, at least for this week. I know a lot of people have been saying that it takes way too long to farm these to get enough to be able to do some of the, you know, emerald missions hopefully this will be a thing that is permanent uh, eventually i think it needs to be bumped up a little bit because it feels like you have to do tons and tons of these missions you know because most of the time you're only finding one to three capitale which is kind of annoying anyway guys uh a few other things that, that was going on this week of course five percent off the moonshine shack or five gold bars off the moonshine shack moonshine shack upgrade and pho uh, photographs are 40 percent off some other things going on this week moonshine cosmetic roll items are 30 percent off uh, Norfolk Roasters are 30% off, 40% uh, off the Sniper Rifles, and 30% off Emotes. And that's pretty much it for this week. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I think a lot of people, in my opinion, are really going to love the new survival mode as long as Rockstar handles it correctly and keeps some updates going with it because it's something a little bit different than what we're used to in-game. We're, we're used to going out and doing missions, whether it be with the Blood Money update, Strangers missions, whatever the case may be. And new survival mode is something just a bit different where you and your friends or, you know, you and just a random group can go out and protect certain areas. And like I said, this week you're getting that big gold XP and cash payout. So make sure you hop in and do some of these new, uh, you know, survival mode missions. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.